so we can finish the boat. Good evening. <laughs> Ow! So what did you find down there? Built like a tank. If you want to spank someone, just take a piece of meat. Tell me again, why are we doing this? I officially hate doing wash. We all know that. <laughs> Can you say this by the size of these bags? Wash number one. Wash number two. Garbage. This marina is the best. The only one minus it has that it doesn't have washers. Say this mean is the best because it doesn't have washer and dryer. No, so you don't have to use them. I don't have smart comments in the morning. You know, smart comments any day, <laughs> anytime. Good morning. I get uh, you know what? I know what the entrance is blocked with obstacles. We should have just left all the things under the rain, they would wash themselves. Sir, you know you can't take on your hand luggage more than eight kilo. <laughs> Coronavirus has been horrible for quarantine because you can't take anything to the laundry and get it disinfected. So that's what I say. You have to practice limited hygiene. In our case. No gene. <laughs> oh, this one is so heavy. Uh, once again, flea market cart to the rescue. So laying down here in the bilge, we just got in the new Tides Marine dripless shaft seal system. I have measured multiple types and this is the best for this application. Also what you can do is add an extra seal so in the event you have to replace it, you can change it without having to remove the shaft. So it gives you uh, double protection. Gives you a little bit of an idea down here is the shaft seal system next to the tube. I will have to cut
cut the tube off somewhere in this location and then clean all this up so that this flange will slide over the top and then we'll be able to slide the shaft back through. And then no more water in the lower bilge, which will be amazing. Find down there. More rust. What? More rust. Surprise, surprise. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> William told me that I can lift up the wood. I didn't know that. I thought that's all like stationary. So I lifted the wood. And I should have not done that at all. I created more work. This is years of rust piling up here. Uh. <sighs> Be careful the sensor. What sensor? The electronic depth sounder is down there. Okay. <sighs> So what did you find down there? Well, all the old paint is gone. What? We can't hear you. All the old paint is gone. And um, it's gone with a, with a hull like this. Wait. Oh. This is how it looks. Uh-oh. Well, that's where they added the new metal. So there's a lot of new metal plates. That's the old plate. I don't know what says, but it's bad. All right. So for some reason, my vacuum stopped working and it was not sucking the rust inside. And I realized that the vacuum is Oh, that's why it's not sucking this thing. Have you seen the vacuum full of rust? I'm gonna show you. That that's please just stay. We're watching you. <laughs> why that filter is there anyway? <laughs> To keep the motor from getting all damaged. Oh, yeah? Yes. <laughs> Don't remove it. <laughs> I saw exactly what you were thinking about doing. Then, an hour later, William, the vacuum cleaner is not working. We don't know why. Look where the wind is. Wait, wait, wait. Take a little piece and throw it in the air. And now you know which way the wind is going. And then stand on the other side. Or don't. What? Well, I don't need the wind. I'm not failing. No mask. Victory lap. So for all of you who is going to the gym, get yourself a boat. loves doing wash so much. Today we brought our wash which has accumulated <laughs> for a long time. What's that anyway? What's that?
I think there's a weight limit. Yana just took the wash into her most favorite place. When we're in marinas, we always find coin laundry. Now with this quarantine, the marina that we're in has zero laundry facilities. I think it's kind of a master plan. She wants a washer dryer combination on the boat. And I keep saying, oh, we can just wash it in the sink and hang it out. The real plan here is she waits for about a month until we're down to like one sock and one shirt and then we finally come to the laundry. Probably we're gonna find some way of handling the laundry on the boat by force. I just got from the laundry and you know how much is it for that? $60. So what I'm talking here about is the fact that Every time we do that, we could have already bought washer and dryer on the boat. I really am not listen to me. Told you, master plan, like we discussed earlier. I don't know what to discuss here, but... We have a beautiful washer dryer. What's that? It has brown eyes, brown hair. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was it's amazing, dryer. that's what that is. No, 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 that one doesn't work. <laughs> Talk to the hand. <laughs>
my life is so consistent. Even my business cards are made the same way. The front you can read from 50 miles away. The back, if you don't have eyesight of a 10 year old, you can't read it. So Never I do anything right. Luckily we have a light. Good job. Whatever. Get a life. This defense must have you as a part. They don't, but they should. So what I was gonna say that I've tried multiple companies and your card flies well. I tried multiple companies and they suck. I'm gonna kill this person. So okay. what? Shut up. What is good about Vista Print is the fact that. Quarantine. <laughs> Anything else? Well, that's all. <laughs> Too much trouble, does to you? Why I like it, if my husband not gonna interrupt me one more time, is that this card I made 100% on mobile. You don't need even computer now with the app that they have. Everything loaded from the phone and created on the phone. William has a very bad eyesight, that's why he can see all of this. But not everyone has the same issue. My eyesight is like a eagle. Figgle. <laughs> that's what it is. This is, by the way, the back of our motor yacht. Just for those of you <laughs> who are wondering just where we are all the time. It has turned into our boat storage center. It's where we review, review products from <laughs> pressure washers to heavy hands and shoes electric bikes <laughs> to scuba tanks no that is a brownie third lung what? that's a brownie third lung hose for two snoobas and yesterday's pride and joy that we haven't discussed yet. A spotlight for stars. We have those here. <laughs> Watching you jump in the mud. We have we have about a million square foot of concrete and blacktop in the boatyard. But Yana prefers to jump in the one mud hole that we have.
Arena. Huge, huge do-it-yourself lot. Also has a lot of custom people. They've just finished installing a brand new well for the boat lift so they can bring up four times larger vessels than they had before. You look all the way down, full of boats. Hello camera. <laughs> Day is over. I hate when work gets in the way of boat life. Today we had to do invoicing, we had to do paperwork, we had to order a bunch of things so that next week we can finish up the mast. Finally, back to the bow yard. I thought he, for a second I thought he was going to say so we can finish the boat, but I immediately realized that that was just a dream. That's a good uh, way of uh, hair removal. Good evening. <laughs> all the way to the front. Typically getting a wire in and out is very, very difficult. In this case, this is the radar wire. And if I move it here, now we get with the radar. And I can move it here and watch it there. Connect a small nylon string to this and then pull the wire up and out the hole. So now when you put the new radar on, you've got something to pull the wire back down through. My name is Yara, and you are in my cooking bubble. <sighs> Today we will be cooking traditional American food. What is it? Watch and you will know. This recipe was handed from years and centuries of William's granny. How to cook the best hamburger. Take meat and squeeze it like this. This way, it will be soft and squishy. Look. <laughs> Better than the hamburger with me. <laughs> Did you wash your hands before you started my hamburger? No. You know, tip from Yana, if you threw something on the floor, 
and you pick it up very fast, then bacteria didn't have time to get to the piece of meat. Don't smash the dirt into it. There's no dirt, the floors are clean. Now you smash the dirt inside of it. Good thing you're not in charge of our health system. <laughs> All this washing he wants is useless because I'm gonna fry it and high temperature kills the bacteria. Even a kid knows that. <laughs> if you wanna spank someone, just take a piece of meat and spank it instead of it. You are so lucky to have me. This is vacuum packer that I'm constantly using because everything on the boat spoils super fast so it's nice but I'm gonna get the new one because this one though it's handy it kind of a little bit too slow so I'm gonna get a bigger one It's 9.30 We're hungry. When he's not in a good mood, he's not a nice person. He doesn't spend time with his wife during the day, in the morning, in the evening, all by myself. Slaving on the kitchen. Beautiful meal prepper. Maybe I'll eat by myself. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't deserve this beautiful dinner. <laughs> that little black mark is for extra attitude. I see that. Okay. Your, your attitude. So you need a fork. Maybe. And a napkin. Hello. William can't eat a meal without a napkin. Before meeting him, I didn't know that. What existed? No, that such people existed. <laughs> Knife, fork, napkin. <laughs> so why not? I threw my meat on the floor. I'm not going to use napkin. <laughs> I agree. Today we're going to be sleeping somewhere differently. I, uh, we took the laundry off and I just realized that we don't have any sheets and uh, this is shit. So we're going to be sleeping in front. At least on this boat we have a front. Right there. Has sheets, has pillowcases, and has a blanket. So we should be fine. Doesn't have air, but we can put a fan in there. William is being upset with me because I'm putting garbage on the countertop when I cook. So I think next time when he will be working, I'm gonna go there and tell him what to do as well.